there is moves in South Australia, Ricky Lambert, to bring about more charging stations in regional areas. Interestingly, the map of this from the South Australian government, which is backing the EV charging network, would show these locations in a lot of places in flow broadcast areas. Yeah, some exciting uh, news if you uh, want to see some investment in your local area from the state government at Putra and Elliston, Sejuna, uh, Cal, Kimber, Pimber, Blindambo, Roxby, Lee Creek, Cooper Pedy, Marla. The list goes on. It's all of this wonderful excitement about electric vehicles, apparently. Mm, very much excitement. Uh, Jamestown, Peterborough, Borough, Clare, Newry, Morgan, Meningi, Kingston, South East, Robe and Keith and Narracourt and other places already have uh, some charging stations on the Dukes Highway. So this is an interesting point. Uh, years ago, we sat down as a family and watched a movie called The Dilemma and it uh, starred uh, Vince Vaughan and uh, Kevin James. Now, the two of them uh, were hired as auto engineers um, to go to uh, a Chrysler company to get the Dodge muscle car, the old Valiant Charger for those that remember it to be an electric vehicle which made the sound of a throaty muscle car and that's their project and <laughs> it just got me thinking about how if we are going to move towards EV vehicles where Joe Biden now is having a look at this himself and he believes that uh, Utes are going to embrace this I'm just wondering Ricky if we go back to that uh, movie which the dilemma shows are we going to have to get some noise and some you know some so that the, the farmers uh, you know, pick up the F100 or F150 Pick up. You want to have a bit of a throaty noise. You don't want to have the big V eight go. Vom, 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 you know, <laughs> as was in that movie. Yeah, oh, they might need to have a little um, tree that hangs from the rearview mirror that smells like the exhaust fumes as well, just to get the pulse racing for yes. some of those that are feeling nostalgic about what the car used to smell and sound like. It's an interesting one, isn't it, though? I mean, Biden says that um, they're looking at churning out F-150 Fords uh, with, uh, the he believes, lightning quick, electric trucks. Um, the future of automotive engineering uh, is electric um, uh, battery um, uh, motors and so on. Do you think that's going to be taken up by the rural sector? And, and if it is, uh, are they going to give way to silent vehicles uh, on the roads? Well, I think uh, silent but deadly, I yeah. suppose, yes. uh, potentially, if you can't hear it coming. But I, what I'm concerned about is, uh, yes, you get a better talk with an electric vehicle, or uh, that's the great potential of it, but the battery life. I mean, you're going to load uh, you know, some sheep in the back of the uter on the trailer and then you're going to tow them how far? They won't have enough charging stations. If you've got one uh, from uh, Yalata and another one at Sejuna, you're going to run out of gas fairly soon or run battery power in between those two. So they've got to improve the battery life of these vehicles for them. I mean, it's going to be great for a local farm where you've got a charging capability at home, but you're not going to get far trying to pull the heavy load. Interesting too, because you've still got to create the electricity to then charge the battery. So the cost of that electricity um, being born at a higher price, it means that you will increase your electrical use. And the other factor here is is that trace minerals, and I know that you've referred to this in previous commentary, but are we going to run out uh, of uh, the minerals needed for these massive battery banks that are required for electric vehicles? It's one thing to say technology is getting better and better. We've been saying that, though, about the uh, battery systems to power houses, and it's been 30 years that this has been talked about that we're going to move towards it. So are we going to be another 30 years away and then are we going to run out of the trace minerals? Well the CSIRO came out with research late last week indicating that they believe by 2050 the market for lithium and silicon is going to be worth 5 trillion Australian dollars. Now I'm not confident that that $5 trillion is volume. I think that's demand. I think the price is going to go up so high because there's only a limited amount of these materials. And I think everyone, even governments with their large-scale batteries to support the grid, are talking about how we're going to plug all of them in. But I'm not sure anyone's... That's why they're calling them critical minerals because they're realising there's actually a finite supply of them. Yes, a finite supply, but still plenty of oil and gas and coal, which seems to be the quandary of the whole discussion, I suppose, what we'll end up with is, is that if uh, Kevin James and Vince Vaughan uh, want to become multi-millionaires like they were looking to become uh, in uh, the movie The Dilemma, then uh, I reckon their chances are pretty good right now. Yep, just attach a stereo system to the car and make sure it makes all the great noises and then I think they'll have a better run in the market. <laughs> Joe Biden in the photograph on the F-150. Looks like it needs a bit more grunt, Joe. <laughs> <laughs>